Of all the options we've covered so far, they all require only native craft CMS functionality. Whether we just hard-coded Twig inside of a template, or we used a global set, or we used a structure section. But if none of those options work for your project and you need to give the site administrators ultimate control over the site navigation, then you'll probably want to deploy one of the navigation plugins available in the Craft CMS plugin store. So the reasons for doing this would be the ultimate flexibility and control over the navigation. And this would be ideal for larger content sites Sites that need regular updates to the navigation where the requirement is that anybody at any moment could get in and manipulate and change and alter that navigation. As of the recording of this video, there are two popular plugins for managing navigation. One is Navigation by Verb, and the other is Navigate by Studio Espresso. Both plugins offer similar functionality. However, according to the Craft Plugin Store, the Verb Navigation plugin is quite more popular than the other one. They both only cost $19, which is a meager amount to save yourself time and to have a nicer navigation implementation for your clients and customers. Now, I have the Verb Navigation plugin installed here, and you can manage it by just creating these different navigations. You can create multiple navigations if you have them for different parts of your site, one for maybe a mobile navigation, one for a desktop navigation. And then inside each navigation, you can set different settings. You have a name, a handle, instructions. This should look very similar to perhaps setting up a section. You can have specific fields for each navigation item or node, as they call it in this plugin, and also permissions. You can control which element groups you're allowed to pick from, whether you can pick from categories, assets, products, tags, other elements. You can create a passive element that doesn't do anything. It doesn't go anywhere. It's typically good for JavaScript. Uh, whether you can show site nodes to be added or custom URLs. So there's a lot of customization here. Now inside of a navigation, this is how you manage it. And this is how your customer or client would manage it. Each of the nodes on the left here are navigation items. And you can see we have them with sub navigation items as well. There's different navigation item types. This is manual meaning I just created it by entering all of the data in manually, the name, the URL, and some settings. This one is based on an entry. And if we click on that, you can see it's the type of entry. I gave it a title, and then I chose which entry it was linked to. And you can change this by updating it here. You can add a suffix to the URL, some classes, and even additional attributes as well. Lots of customization you can do here. And then I have some additional manual ones. The live stream ones I have set up as an entry since this goes to a live streams index landing page. And then the article ones is manual as well. On the right is where you add additional navigation items. This is how you add an entry one. You can even choose to add it to a parent. Here's how you add categories, assets, products, passive, which means it's just a title. It doesn't uh, link to anywhere. You can navigate to a site or a custom URL, which is this manual one right here. So navigation or navigate, they're both pretty similar. They give you the full flexibility and ability to manage the navigation right from the craft control panel. So that's an overview of plugin powered navigation that gives you the ultimate flexibility and control, especially for larger content sites or where the requirements are that there are regular updates to the navigation.
You know, one of the best aspects about Craft is that it doesn't impose its will on your templates. You can do as you wish. And sometimes that means having a lot of choices like we do in navigation. So of all of the options that I've shown in this course, pick the one that's best for the specific project you're working on and then go build great things. There's a companion article that goes along with this course. You can check that out at craftquest.io slash articles. Just look for the one called Navigation Options in Craft. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.